Welcome back guys. I made a list of my 24 goals for 2024. Last year I made this video but I didn't really take anything to heart. Um, but this year I'm actually like really excited about everything I kind of put together. So I'm going to do kind of like a get ready with me while I talk about my new year's goals. And I'm actually like really excited about these and I like really want to like pursue all of them. So let's just get right into it. I'll be looking kind of over here because that's where some of my stuff is, but let's just get right into it. My first resolution is to spend less time on electronics. I just think I have way too much screen time, and honestly, I think, like, everyone could benefit from this. Um, I just, I need more, I feel like I just need to spend my time in more productive and better ways. Number two, I'm actually kind of excited about this one, is I want to read 24 books this year, at least. I mean, I would love to aim for more. So that's kind of like two a month type thing, which I think that sounds doable. And I don't know, I think I can do that. I haven't really read any books this year. I've kind of, I used to love reading, but I feel like it kind of fell out of like my passion of reading. So, sorry, my hair's like driving me crazy, so I'm gonna fix it. Um, but I'm gonna start trying to get back into reading. Sorry, my hair is like driving me crazy. Um, number three is I want to work out five days a week and just move my body. I don't really care what workout it is. I just like to be more active, especially with school. I get so lazy. So I just want to like, I can ride the Peloton. I can go for a walk, whatever. Just do something five days a week. Next is get eight hours of sleep every night because my sleep schedule is horrible. Like genuinely so bad. Like, some nights I'll get freaking 12 hours of sleep, and then other nights I'll get, like, four. Well, I have, like, a sleep app that kind of helps me, like, make it more regular. Um, but, I mean, of course, I don't use that, but I'm planning on starting to really, like, make it good. Because I know it's so important to have, like, a consistent sleep schedule, so that's something I really want to do. Number five is eat healthier. I eat junk food all the time. Like, I literally eat candy, like, every day because, like... I have a sugar addiction a little bit, but I just want to eat healthier because I just think that's good to do. Those are kind of like my New Year's resolutions I feel like everyone can do. Now these are like, sorry my sister's yelling. Now these are my ones that I feel like are really personal to me. Number six, okay, I'm going to kind of change my makeup routine while I do this. I'm using the Rare Beauty concealer. It's crusty, so don't mind. But number six is I want to learn Hawaiian. I just, I love the beach and I want to move to Hawaii. So I'm like, I might as well just learn Hawaiian. Because I know it's good to learn a language. And I, mean, I just want to know it. My skin is really bad, so I don't mind how much concealer I'm putting on. Um, but yeah, I just want to learn it because I literally want to move there. Um, I think my parents want to take a trip there. So yeah, learn Hawaiian. Also, I just, I really like their language. I think it's, like, a really pretty language, too. And I've already been learning it this year, but, like, I barely know any. So, I just want to, you know, actually be consistent in that. Right now, my Duolingo streak is, like, 10 days. So, I mean, honestly, not doing bad, but definitely can do better. Um, number seven is, this sounds, like, honestly really stupid. But I don't want to write more songs because music is something that, like, I love and it helps me kind of like calm down and just like I don't know I love music um and I love like writing songs and just like making songs it's like a really big stress reliever why can't I talk it's a really big stress reliever for me so I want to do that number eight is I want to play my ukulele every single day because again it's such a big stress reliever for me and I haven't played it I played it like a couple days ago but before that, I haven't played it for, like, a month. So, um, and it's, like, such a good stress reliever. I swear whenever I'm, like, playing the ukulele or singing, I literally, I feel like I have no problems. And I kind of just get, like, lost in the music. And it's so nice. And, I don't know. I just, I, I need that. Number nine is I want to learn the piano. My grandma's already been teaching me the piano. And I just need to get more serious about it. Um, we've done, like, maybe four or five lessons. But I want to actually get like serious about the piano because i love the piano too i love how it sounds and yeah i forgot to put primer on but i'm gonna put it over because i still have to put more stuff on and i don't want to just forget about it so we're throwing it on right now over 
I still need to put more things to learn anyways. Number 10 is I want to get better at cooking. I actually really like cooking. I did like a culinary class this year and it made me actually really like cooking. So now I'm like kind of wanting to like get better at it and it's like really fun for me. So yeah. Um, number 11 is I want to like pick up a hobby or like maybe a couple hobbies. Um, like I want to like do scrapbooking or something. I actually have a bunch of pictures printed out for scrapbooking, but I've never like gotten around to like buying a book or anything. So that's something I definitely want to do. Um, because I think they're like so fun to look back on and it seems like it would be fun to make too. So yeah. And I, and I just keep thinking about like how cute it would be to like show my kids my like high school scrapbook. I don't know. I just think that would be cute and like a fun thing. And another hobby I want to do is I want to get into like running more because I actually kind of like running. I kind of don't, but I kind of do. Um, so I want to just like do it more. And also I want to go hiking more. So that's kind of like a hobby kind of thing. Number 12 is I want to just like learn about new topics every week. That sounds also kind of stupid. I'm kind of like a nerd honestly, but um, I want to like just learn about stuff. Just because I love just learning about different topics. Number 13 is I want to practice more mindfulness, um, like meditating and stuff like that, just to kind of, you know, cool down. I don't know, I just think it's a good thing to do. Number 14 is kind of like a plain one, but it's just drink more water because I'm probably really dehydrated if I'm being quite honest, so drink more water. Number 15 is I want to try to give back to the community more. Oh wait, I was going to show you guys what I'm using. I just use Rare Beauty blush, and I'm gonna use some glow recipe. Um, uh, because I like to put it on my blush to kind of make it more dewy. So, yeah. Um, but I want to get back to the community more, like, just like, what's the word? I am stupid. Volunteer more. <sighs> I'm almost out of these. I have more, but I don't know where they are. Number sixteen is that what we're on? Yeah, sixteen. I want to find ways to make more money because. I want to be rich, you guys. Like, I want to have money because I kind of do have money. Like, it comes in waves. waves. Like, one month I can be really poor and one month I'm, like, have a lot of money that I probably should be saving for, like, college. But, oh, well. Don't really care. But I want to just find ways to make more money. Like, I want to babysit more. I don't know. Whatever I can. Now I'm going to use this NYX setting spray. Number 17 is kind of like a weird one, but I don't want to watch any more short form content and I don't really know how to like explain this one, but like YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and like TikTok videos. I don't watch TikTok, but like that's an example. Basically, since short form content came out, um, I've had problems and I don't really know if it's connected or not, but I kind of feel like it is connected, but my attention span has been horrible. Like. I can't focus on anything. Like, okay, now I'm using this setting spray from Boris by Mills. But, like, if I'm playing, like, a video game, because mm, I'm a little video gamer, I literally have to watch a show at the same time or I get too bored. Like, what? Like, I swear that should not be happening. Or, like, I don't know. I, like, I can't focus on stuff. And I swear it's just because we get so bored quickly because we're so used to just scrolling through and just watching something for 15 seconds so basically i'm going to try not to watch that anymore i'll still watch my like favorite creators do their like little short form content but no more i'll still watch netflix i'll still watch like long youtube videos but i don't know i feel like short form content is just so bad and it's just like also so addicting because you can just mindlessly scroll so yeah no more of that for me number 18 is go for walks every day that it is not snowing or raining or like too cold or icy so um because i love going for walks and i think they're so good and yeah pretty pretty self-explanatory for that one number 19 is i want to um get good grades and just really focus on school ow um because i don't know just who doesn't want good grades and And I just thought I really want to just prioritize school um, because 
Why not? I can't focus while I put mascara on. Sorry. Number 20 is to make my bed every morning, or at least most mornings. My bed right now is not made. Um, but I'm gonna try to make it more because it feels so good to get into a made bed. But also, I'm not gonna be super strict on that one because I honestly don't care that much. 21 is kind of hard since I live in the Midwest, but I want to spend more time outside and just like be outside as much as possible. Okay, I just finished the mascara in my bathroom. And I don't really know where I left off, but I'm just say the sun is so good for you. Get your vitamin D just constantly be outside. Number 22 is I want to start making like weekly vlogs where I just vlog my entire week and like post it every Sunday. So I want to start doing that. And then I want to make another video every week. So I want to try and do two videos a week. So that's my New Year's goal. Number 23. These are kind of random out of ideas, so they're kind of random. Well, I, I like my last one. This one's random though, because I already kind of said it. But 23, I have limit screen time. Just be less on devices. Oh, why do I keep forgetting to say what I'm using? I'm using this, say, lip oil in the shade. Play. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to limit screen time as much as possible because screens, honestly, I wish I grew up in the 1800s. I actually don't. I'm, I'm good where I grew up, but I don't know. I'm kind of not the biggest fan of screens. They're not good for you. Whatever. Just limit screen time so I can do other stuff and just spend my time more doing more productive stuff than watching videos and playing games and I don't know. Number 24, my last one, I also have a bonus one, I'll say. But my last one, 24, is make the most of every day. These guys, this sounds kind of cliche. We don't know how much time we have. And I just kind of want to live every day like it's important because every day is important. And just like have fun days, have fulfilling days. I want to go to sleep happy. Not like, oh, I wasn't productive today. My bonus. Um, this one isn't actually gonna happen, and that's why it's a bonus. Oh, before I share my bonus, I wanna share my perfume situation. I've been layering on perfume, and this kind of seems like the worst layer, but I use these two. I probably have no clue what this is. This is like a kind of lavendery vanilla. It's very like sweet smelling, not crazy strong lavender but really sweet and really good. So I put this on my wrist and kind of rub my neck and maybe a little spritz in there. So that smells really good and not like too strong and overpowering. And then to pair, I got my Sol de Janeiro 68. I spray this in my hair. And kind of spray it because I spray this like and I spray this kind of on like on my forearms you know not like my wrist but more forearmsy and then this one's not as strong so I do just kind of two spritz in the air on me and oh my gosh it smells so good together <laughs> like oh you wouldn't even imagine it I it smells so good right now um okay my bonus one. My bonus one is to smoke some weed. That's not gonna happen, but I really want it to happen. So, all you guys know if I end up moving to the beach this year, definitely very unrealistic. That's not gonna happen. But, oh my gosh, literally my dream in life is I wanna like buy a bunch of property in Hawaii, build like a kind of nice house. Doesn't have to be that nice or that expensive, but like, you know, good. I wanna have like eight kids with like a surfer husband. And, like, my kids can be little surfers. Um, I want to have a, a light blue Jeep, Jeep, what's it called? Jeep Wrangler? I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. Is that what it's called? I'll put a picture. That's why I keep both pointing. Um, and then, <clears throat> and I want to, here's my biggest thing. I want to be a Hawaiian farmer. And I want to live on Kauai or Molokai or Molokai. I don't know how to say that really. But I want to live on one of those islands. And I want to have like, I want to be a farmer. I want to grow like coconuts, pineapples, all that. 
and be like farmer and sell it and have my own like farmer's market and then i also want to have like goats i don't know if you have like goats in hawaii but i'm going to and i want to have pigs i'll probably i'll get like goat milk and goat cheese the pigs i use them for bacon um and yeah that's my dream that's what, that's what my life is gonna be guys um but yeah thank you for watching goodbye Hey guys, I'm looking a little bit rough, but it's like 1 a.m. on New Year's Eve, I guess, day, technically now, and it's 2024. And I'm always the type of person who gets super, like, I don't know, I kind of just get kind of sad on New Year and get really, like, I don't know. I just feel like I need to share my thoughts and just talk about how grateful I am for this year. Because this year was such a good year for me, I feel like. Um, there are definitely some hard moments. But I just wanted to say how like grateful I am for all the different travel opportunities that I got this year. I went to like St. Thomas, St. Martin, the Bahamas, um, Arizona, and just like a bunch of fun states and little trips besides that. And I'm so grateful. Um, I just love being able to see the world and traveling. So I'm so grateful that I got to do that. I'm also so grateful for all the time I got to spend with friends and families this year. Um... Just, I, I don't know, I feel like time with friends and family is so, I don't know, just amazing and something I'll never take for granted. Um, I'm also so grateful for just new friendships I was able to form and new experiences I got to make. And just like how I have just like overcome every obstacle that has come to me this year. Um, and I, I really am like proud of myself, not gonna lie. And... And also just how many how much fun it was and how many good memories were formed and i'm so excited for 2024 and i already know it's gonna be another great year or at least i hope it will um so yeah i hope you guys like this video i'm a little i always feel a little sad for the new year but i'm like it's just tough but it is really sad for me just to think like it's never gonna be 2023 again ever but yeah i think i think it was a good year um so yeah Good night, guys. Have a great 2024. I hope you guys all the best.